My name is Dunnit, so I'm building stuff, and today I've got a really short, sort of quick video on how to get an instant overshield featuring the Vex Calibre and the Moth Keeper's Wraps. We're going to have an infinite overshield, infinite devour, and we're going to be able to get throw infinite grenades or infinite moths with this little setup and a few fragments on the Void subclass. So stay tuned for infinite overshields, infinite devour, infinite grenades. I'm going to break it all down. So we'll take a quick look at the Moth Keeper's Wraps. Your grenade becomes cages of loyal moths that release on impact and fly towards the nearest target or ally. If they reach a the target, they detonate in a blinding explosion. If they reach an ally, they will give you and them an overshield like so. So you get two of these with this exotic, the Moth Keeper's Wraps. So just having two moths that are going to track and blind or give you an overshield is pretty, pretty nice. The other exotic to pair with this one is Vex Calibre. This fires a spread equipped with a quick draining shield. Blocking damage with your shield gradually bestows Void Overshield to you and your nearby allies. So that with the Moth Keeper's Wraps can give you and your teammates a pretty much infinite overshield. So it's pretty, pretty nice pairing. It's got perpetual loophole on there as well. Deal additional melee damage while protected by an overshield. Defeating targets with melee final blows while the overshield is active will refresh the overshield. So just like this, you can run around with the Vex Calibre, block, get your overshield up, just like so, get a few kills and that will extend that overshield, and then all you have to do is when you've got enough energy, just block and it'll be restart that shield. Echo of Exchange, melee final blows, grant grenade energy, this works with glaives, this is a void fragment, obviously, but you can just see here, watch my grenades, I've got nothing else going on, no devour, nothing like that. Couple of melee kills, three or four, and you've pretty much got a moth back. And keep going, you're going to get double moths back with this fragment. On top of that, Echo of Starvation, picking up a Void Breach or an Orb of Power is going to grant Devour. Devour also regens your health and gives you grenade energy. You can add this on as well if you run Echo of Harvest. Defeating weakened targets creates an Orb of Power and the Void Breach. So as long as you kill something that's weakened, we are going to have Infinite Devour, Infinite Health Regen. Now, Chopper's Ambush, activate Quickfall to spend your melee charge and dive to the ground, like so. This weakens targets, and that starts the loop. Create that Void Breach for your Devour and an Orb. Echo of Harvest, defeating weaker targets, creates an Orb of Power. That's what we've just touched on. And then Echo of Starvation, that's the little loop. Get in there with your Trapper's Ambush, weaken the target, and that starts that little loop off of that. It creates that Void Breach for your Devour. On top of that, we've got Echo of Exchange, just to clarify this again. Melee final blows working in the background with your Devour. So you've literally got infinite grenades with this build. You're going to have that going on and Devour. And you have literally got infinite grenades. You can keep an eye on that bottom left. I'll quickly just go over my fragments and aspects. And then I'm going to show you some more gameplay just to sort of finish it. We've got Vanishing Step is the second aspect I like to run. Dodging makes you invisible. I found this one really, really helpful for everything, really, to be honest. And so that one's a no-brainer for me. Trapper's Ambush, which is the one we've touched on. Just dive to the ground, dissipate your smoke bomb, weakened targets. Echo of Harvest, defeating weakened targets, creates an orb of power, which we've touched on. Echo of Exchange, melee final blows, grant grenade energy. Echo of Persistence, this one's quite important because that gives you a 15 second void overshield. It makes your invisibility in overshield and devour have increased duration. So good all round. Echo of Starvation, picking up a void breach or an orb of power, grants devour. And once you've got everything going on, this is what you can do. You can literally run around with your Vex Calibre, your moths, throw moths everywhere, left, right and centre. Every few seconds you're going to have a moth or even double moths back. Overshield whenever you want, devour whenever you want and all this works for your teammates as well. Obviously I'm on my own in this clip but if you've got a teammate with you or a couple of teammates you are going to be able to give them the Void Overshields as well. Now, in your heavy slot, you could run something with Repulsor Brace if you've got a commemoration or another weapon with Repulsor Brace. There's an option for even more overshields. Here's the mods. I'll leave everything playing out at the end of the video anyway, and I will also leave a dim link. So I always leave a little preview of the build just in case I didn't explain it well enough. And if needs be, you can just sort of copy that, and I will, like I said, leave a dim link. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.